Did you know that the foods you choose this holiday season have the power to promote a joyous and stress-free holiday or quite the opposite? Psychiatrist, author, chef, Dr. Uma is here to explain the connection and to open the pages of her book. Good morning. Good morning, Angie. It's great to see you today. Well, thank you so much for, of course, the work that you're doing. You have a best-selling book, Your Brain on Food, and now Calm Your Mind with Food. Tell us what uh, your inspiration is to share all this information with people. So my inspiration right now is that we're going into this great holiday season that everyone wants to enjoy, but it can be a little bit stressful. And we know that anxiety increased significant amounts since the pandemic. So it just helps us to keep in mind foods that can help us along our way because a lot of people associate food with maybe um, how to eat for your hypertension or type two diabetes or maybe your weight. But food is very, very powerful. Food is medicine for your brain health and your mental fitness. So I'd like people to think about calm foods that they can add in, especially over the holidays. And I have a little mnemonic for you, C-A-L-M-S, and I can break it down for you. Well, please do, because we all would love to know what foods help uh, calm our nerves and settle us down. So walk us through C-A-L-M. Perfect. So it comes. So C, start off with vitamin C, which you get from citrus fruit, lemons, limes, as well as things like clementines, oranges. Add those into your diet immediately because they're good for you, they're healthy, and they're rich in vitamin C. The other C that you're going to love, Angie, is extra dark natural chocolate. So not the candy <laughs> bars, but extra dark chocolate is good for us. And add that in. Yay. <laughs> good news. <laughs> good news. And chickpeas. So, you know, whether canned or whether you cook them from scratch, chickpeas actually are a great source of fiber and they're great to just help us feel satiated, great source of protein, um, as well as something you should be adding in. Um, so I want you to think colors. Everything on this table is very colorful. Think colors and whole foods as much as possible. Then we move to A. A is for anthocyanins. Don't worry about the word, but think blueberries. The beautiful color in blueberries is from anthocyanins. The ingredient, the nutrient, the antioxidant, great for your brain and great for your gut. So add those into your diet. And then I want you to think about ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is actually a supplement because it's very bitter tasting. So you want to take it as a pill or a powder. Um, and that actually has a lot of good evidence to calm the mind. So think about that. But if you're going to try it out or find a supplement, speak to your doctor to make sure they know what you're taking. The L is for liquids. I want you to care, carry your sustainable water bottle with you and be sipping on water as you shop and drive around in this busy time. Because hydration is going to not only fend off those cravings or hunger pangs, it's going to actually keep you calmer just to be hydrated. You can also just make a nice cup of some, something like passion flower tea and have that with you as you're shopping as well or working at your desk or working from home. M is for more omega-3s and magnesium. So more omega-3s you can get from things like uh, fish like salmon, canned salmon, fresh salmon, however you are able to obtain it. This is a good source of omega-3s. As well as things like flax seeds and hemp seeds, those also have um, uh, omega-3 fats. Great for your brain, great for your body. Magnesium you can get from things like avocados or healthy fats from avocados. Add those in as well. And the S is for spices and herbs. So this is my little spice um, spice box here. And, you know, the colors and, and flavors of spices are rich in antioxidant and anti-inflammatory ingredients. Great for your brain health and great to keep you calm. There's a lot of fresh herbs at Thanksgiving. Add those in. Really good for your brain. Really good for your health. So pile it on as much as possible. And remember the colors and textures of whole foods. Leap into those leafy green salads. The leafy greens contain folate. Great for your brain as well. Dr. Uma, that's all so thrilling to see the beautiful rainbow in front of us and to know how good it is. The book is Calm Your Mind with Food. Send our viewers to a website where they can learn more. Yes, umanaidumd.com, where you can find my book, my course, my resources, but also check out my free newsletter, which I send out every week on a different food at umanaidumd.com or follow me on social media, D-R-U-M-A. 
uh, N-A-I-D-O-O. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angie. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Get this book.